I believe local reuse, repair and recycling are some of the smartest ways to keep materials in high value use for longer. So today I want to reflect on that as well as talk about the opportunities for collaboration afforded by progress on making things last, Scotland's circular economy strategy. When I visited Dingwall's reuse superstore in August, I saw repair and reuse can become easy choices. By connecting people in the Highlands with central belt suppliers through its hub, Blytheswood Care customer appeal was widened. Not only have five jobs been created, but more than 70,000 items have been sold in just two years. Scotland's hubs initiative has been strengthened with the launch of the first online service, Restyle Argyle, which extends its customer reach through collaboration with local delivery networks. This kind of innovation to meet customer needs is at the heart of Scotland's reuse revolution. Vintage and upcycled products can command premium prices and quality is growing. There are now more than 100 Revolve certified reuse stores providing positive and professional reuse shopping experiences. As a membership body, CRNS is providing leadership through its vision of resources benefiting people and mission to strengthen the sector. To underline the contribution of CRNS, I want to reflect on its joint initiative with Scotland Excel to introduce reuse furniture to a local government procurement framework. The framework supports councils in using the Scottish Welfare Fund to provide furniture to people facing crisis, emergency or who need support to establish a home in their communities. One of Scotland's busiest welfare fund users, Fife Council, was the first to take the reuse option. It started in February and since then Aberdeenshire and Renfrewshire have followed. In less than a year, as well as creating strong local government partnerships, the potential environmental, economic and social benefits of this initiative are clear. Around 2,000 items have been diverted from landfill. Switching from new to reuse furniture is estimated to save Fife Council alone almost £240,000 annually, meaning that Fife can help more people with more items. People can visit the reuse suppliers to choose furniture that reflects their taste and particular needs, and this is helping to tackle the stigma of receiving benefits. No one can walk into a home and see a council couch. The service underlines how procurement can be a success story. The reuse line also supports local government partnership with 15 councils working with the sector to collect unwanted furniture. To maintain momentum, we will bring together an expert group to look at how environmental charges and other measures to influence behaviour can address our throwaway society. For example, could a charge on single-use cups shift people towards reuse as a way of life in the same way as with carrier bags? I look forward to announcing more details about the group shortly and I encourage CRNS and its members to engage with it. I also want CRNS members with all their local recycling knowledge to engage with Zero Waste Scotland as it develops a deposit return system that is right for our country. And there are further opportunities to connect with Scotland-wide initiatives that support our ambitious waste targets. Zero Waste Scotland's £18 million Circular Economy Investment Fund is already assisting 17 small to medium sized enterprise with projects that reuse whisky byproducts, waste plastic and household furniture. Community led resource efficiency and circular economy projects are also supported through the £10 million Climate Challenge Fund. I encourage CRNS members to consider how to take advantage of these funds to help transform the scale and economic clout of the sector. Further partnership opportunities may arise as a result of SEPA's work with its customers to help them find new and profitable ways to reduce waste. SEPA published guidance on regulation of reuse earlier this year. This is the first of its kind in Europe to support the sector and increase reuse through better understanding of waste legislation. SEPA and CRNS have been running training sessions for members on the guidance to help with its implementation. I've seen strong progress in the 12 months since I attended the CRNS annual conference. So let's take the opportunity to work together and move further, faster. Embracing the circular economy is an environmental imperative, but it's also an economic opportunity. Community reuse, repair and recycling is smart because of its strong social benefit. Our grandparents would have known this. 
Let's build a Scotland which can be proud that we chose to make things last, helps those who need it most and protects the environment in the process.